Reverend Big James, congressional candidate representing the Liber Libertarian Party in Michigan. Welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going? Outstanding. Tell uh, us about why, as a Libertarian candidate for Congress, that you would be hosting a This Is Fucking Bullshit rally. Well, the reason why is because it's fucking bullshit what's going on in Brighton, Michigan here. We got the police uh, like, finding people for language here. Um, I don't know if uh, you know the background on the story of what's going on, but basically there was a, a teenager and a, his group of friends, they were hanging out at a local park. It's a public park. Everyone's welcome to be there. And one of his friends was skateboarding. And so the cop came and gave him a ticket for skateboarding. Upon the, his friend getting the ticket, he was told that his entire group had to leave, uh, leave the park. And when asked why they had, when, uh, when, it was, when Colin Anderson asked why they had to leave the park, the cop would not give him a reason as to why. So as he's walking away, he says, this is fucking bullshit under his breath. Because that was fucking bullshit. Mm -hmm. So the cop decides to give him a uh, disturbing the peace charge. Which basically in Brighton, they have an ordinance for their disturbing the peace. It's where if you say anything that's ruled offensive or annoying, uh, you're guilty of disturbing the peace. It's the most ridiculous fucking law I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> if you say something annoying, you're guilty of a uh, civil infraction is $200 fine. It's if you if you flip someone off in Brighton, Michigan, that's a two hundred dollar fine right there. It's ridiculous. So um, the piece would be so, people like communicating freely and enjoying public sca spaces to skateboard, and it sounds like the only people disturbing the police here are the cops. Right. The only people disturbing the peace is the cops. Is right. The kids were enjoying themselves, having a uh, a beautiful day out in the out in the sun and whatnot, skateboard and having fun in a in a in a public area. And the cops came and disturbed the peace. Exactly. The cops are the ones who are guilty of disturbing the peace here. Uh, they, they're the ones of disorderly conduct. Now, um, now James, I, I want to hear about your congressional campaign and this rally and how all that factors in. But while you're enjoying your, your cigarette there, I want to share a story we didn't get to earlier today that relates to this from PoliceStateUSA.com. Pennsylvania man arrested for hanging flag upside down. Did you hear about this one? I have not heard about that. This one. is this is crazy, and it is, uh, you know, as, as offensive as that is, this is almost worse. Police arrested and charged a man with a crime because he hung an American flag upside down on his property. Joshua Brubaker of Duncansville says he is passionate about his Native American heritage and American Indian movement. He grew up upset when the site of one of the most infamous massacres in U.S. history has been put up for commercial sale. He's talking about Wounded Knee. This is where in mm. 1890. At the height of the American Indian relocation effort, U.S. troops disarmed the Lakota people en masse for their own safety and protection as they were corralled into their new home. When a deaf Lakota man refused to surrender his rifle to the federal soldiers, most of the tribe was slaughtered. This is known as the Wounded Knee Massacre, still memorialized today. So what he did is he took a flag, turned it upside down, spray-painted uh, AIM for American Indian Movement on it. And oh, yeah, I I think I did hear about this. Yeah, someone called it in, and under Pennsylvania law, this is for flag desecration, it's a misdemeanor if one for exhibition or display places any marks, writing, or design of any nature upon any flag, or two, exposes to public view any such marked or de uh, defiled flag. So they actually sent the cops out to his home forcibly took down the flag and arrested him. The uh, uh, Allegheny Township Assistant Police Chief said it, that the arrest was justified because he and others were offended. Here's the quote. People have made too many sacrifices to protect the flag and, leave, and, and to leave this to happen in my community. I'm not happy with that. It's pretty freaking a, a, a sick sign of society here when it, it's, it's accepted normal behavior to say, I don't like what you're doing, so I'm going to steal from you. So I'm just going to forcibly interfere right. with it. No regard for individual rights. This is what we're up against. There's a deeper strain of the paradigm that is, you know, people who are willing to use violence to control behavior that they simply don't like. And it's, right. it's a national thing, and I, I suppose that's got to be part of your motivation for running for Congress. Am I right? That, that is part of my motivation for running. Well, 
My motivation for running for Congress, I, I don't intend on winning. I'm a libertarian candidate, for Christ's sake. Uh, <laughs> my, my motivation for, uh, for running is more to spread the libertarian message of uh, self-ownership, the non-aggression principle, um, to, to fight for individual rights here to say, hey, you know, this, this, all this shit's going on is fucking bullshit. Um, bring that message to the forefront of the political discussion, hopefully. Well, we've got local media is already reporting on uh, the rally. What, what really surprised me, though, is the response on uh, one of the local papers who did a little story on the rally uh, earlier today. Well, hold on a second. I got, hold on. Before you get to the story, i got to ask, are you being fined by the police for saying you're having a this is fucking bullshit rally are you being well, uh, charged for this is the newspaper who is printing this now being charged for reporting on it well we'll all see what happens <laughs> i uh it wouldn't put it w i wouldn't put it past the brighton police department to come and try and arrest all of us uh but i don't think they will with the amount of uh coverage this story is getting i don't think that uh the the Brighton Police Department will have the balls to come and arrest all of us. And we want to get a whole lot of people to come out to this protest uh, May 31st at noon in Brighton at the Mill Pond. Um, we want to get as many people there as possible. There's strength in numbers. The more of us are there, the less they'll be able to fuck with us. Or at least they might be run out of ticket paper anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, if nobody carries ID, they're going to have a very hard time of that. And I, I hope uh, people are educated and prepared and ready to engage in this token civil disobedience but how, how what was the story was it uh was it supportive how's the media response been in general well the media response has uh been relatively supportive the the problem is the it seems like the people of brighton i was reading on the facebook page because they posted the article on the livingston uh, daily's facebook page and um the people were talking about how it's terrible that we're protesting for free speech they're talking about how free speech should be criminal and this is against the law and arrest all these people. They hope the police beat us up and all kinds of insane just damn. I, I was I was like, my God, what 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 is with these people? It's like they, they don't give two shits about freedom. They couldn't care they couldn't care less about freedom. And they they want to control the way you speak and what the really the thing about it is I was talking to the kid who got the ticket. And he was saying during his court case, because this already went to court, um, during a court case, there was a case in Michigan back in 2002. It was People v. Boomer, and it went to the Michigan uh, Court of Appeals. And there was a, a statewide law that was almost identical to this law in Brighton, Michigan, uh, that if uh, you know profanity mentioned within the vicinity of people and it offends people, they're guilty of a fucking crime. <laughs> so that law was struck down in People v. Boomer as unconstitutional. So, and when I talked to the kid about the case, Colin Anderson, I talked to him about it, and he had he informed me that that case actually came up in court, and the uh, the, the the courts in Brighton said that that's irrelevant to his case. The fact that these laws have already been ruled unconstitutional by the Michigan Court of Appeals, and that really brings us to what Lysander Spooner said, you know, the Constitution be one thing or another, this much is certain, either it allows a government like this or it's powerless to prevent it, in either case it's unfit mm -hmm. to exist. Mm -hmm. this, this, really, this really demonstrates that, that even if the courts say, hey, what you're doing is unconstitutional, the government doesn't give two fucks about that, and they're just going to keep fucking with you anyway. Mm -hmm. and th that's what really pissed me off about this case, and that's why I'm, I immediately, as soon as I read about the case, I was like, well, I'm about to hold a rally on this. <laughs> That's awesome. No, and, and, and I would hope that this is a relatively easy issue to push back on. And, uh, you know, I hosted last year the free fucking speech rally in um, uh, Middleborough in Massachusetts. And I just, yeah. I lived in Virginia and I drove up to Massachusetts just because there was one city that passed this ordinance. And I was like, no, nope, that's fucking bullshit. I'm sorry. We're going to go up and you want to arrest us. You want to really make a scene. You want to, you want to, you know, harass kids. Bullshit. You're going to have to arrest a bunch of us. If you want to make it, you want, you want to try to stand behind a, you know, kind of anti-freedom law like this. And it was, I was shocked. I've done a lot of activism where I like, I, I got more, like I got more media coverage 
for standing with a bullhorn in a public square in Middleborough, Massachusetts, saying the word fuck and saying we're having a free fucking speech rally than I did for loading a shotgun at Freedom Plaza uh, uh, in D.C. Right. on Independence Day. And I'm like, how the hell does that happen? Well, fortunately, the media, you know, actually does care about free speech a little bit, and so they're more inclined to get behind that. And I think it's kind of cool that you have that ability when you do stand up for free speech, you end up with, with the, even the mainstream media uh, often on your side and relatively sympathetic. Right. Especially when you're talking about absurd profanity laws like this. So I'm really, I'm not surprised, but I'm glad to hear that you're getting good coverage. But I, I think this is a great opportunity for all libertarians when they have issues like this or, or you, you see a, a inane laws, especially when they're about free speech. I mean, go look in your town, see what's on the books, see if in your town, in your hometown right now, you can get arrested for swearing. Because I'll bet there are a lot of places where these laws are on the books. And it's a huge opportunity to push back and to say, no, this is bullshit, this is why. And if you bring the libertarian perspective to that, you're not just waking people up to the bullshit of those individual laws and the importance of free speech, but to the reason they're bullshit, because they're a violation of your rights as property rights as an individual who owns yourself. And I'm glad that you're doing this, uh, Reverend. I think it's an amazing project, and, and not just your, your candidacy, but this uh, rally in particular. So the This Is Fucking Bullshit rally, Brighton, Michigan, at the Mill Pond at noon on May 31st. Is that right? That's right. Noon to three. Uh, we're going to rally at the Mill Pond and then march out uh, through the main street into right the main intersection right there in downtown Brighton. Hey, march some other place. I, I, I don't really know. We'll see what we'll see what uh, see what the day takes us. And where can people, far we can. where can people find yeah. out more about your candidacy? They can find out more on my website, uh, jamesweeksthesecond.com. That's jamesweeksii.com. Uh, as well as on Facebook at James Weeks II again. And check out the rally on uh, Facebook. we got a Facebook event for the rally. Uh, if you type in, this is fucking bullshit, in quotes, uh, rally, it should pull up. Um, join us at everyone that's listening. If you're in the Michigan area or within driving distance to come up here, please come join us. We need, uh, we need lots of people to come and uh, demonstrate that free speech does matter to us. We, we, and we won't stand for fining of free speech. You know, there's, it, it's just absolutely ridiculous that they're fining you $200 for exercising free speech. It's a, it's a huge fine for just saying something that someone finds offensive. Well, James, congratulations for standing up and for this rally. I hope people join you. Best of luck. Thank you so much for the call today. Thank you very much. What is government? Thank you. I guess that's that. And you know what? You're living in America right now, and you're not free. It means that we need to have a different philosophy. Why do they hate us? We need to... <laughs>